Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple web browser in Visual C Sharp. Now, I do have a tutorial on um, YouTube already on how to make a simple web browser in Visual Basic. And the codes are pretty much the same. I mean, honestly, you just add one more character, but you know, I thought I'd still make a tutorial. So, um, here we go. Um, go ahead and open up uh, Visual C Sharp. If you're using um, Visual, Visual um, Studio, it's pretty much, you know, it's the exact same. You just have a few more options. Okay, um, add a Windows Forms application and name it whatever you want. Okay, then once it comes up, um, just like before, add a panel uh, and four buttons. And um, the panel, make sure you dock it to the top. And the four buttons. Um, then after you have your four buttons, um, make a text box. and another button okay um... button one make its text back button two forward button three refresh button four uh, home button five go Oh, and then add a web browser. And um, optionally, you can uh, dock it. I think mine automatically docked. Uh, yeah. Okay. For button one, uh, double click it, or your back button, double click it, and type in web browser one dot go right. go back open parentheses, close parentheses, and then a semicolon, I think is what it's called. It's the um, dot with the little like slash under it. And then for forward, double click it. Um, web browser one dot go forward, open parentheses, close parentheses, and um, semicolon. Same thing with this, web browser one, dot refresh, open parentheses, close parentheses, and uh, that thing. Uh, home, web browser one, dot go home, open parentheses, close parentheses, Go. Um, dot navigate. Open parentheses. Text box one. Dot text. Close parentheses. Semicolon. Okay. And you're done. You can debug it. Um, website. There you go. Have your home. Refresh. Or back and forward. Uh, um, I guess I could go ahead and show you how to make a more, instead of making a whole new video, to show you, go ahead and show you how to make a more advanced one. I add a tool strip. Now this is if you don't if you want to have a more advanced web browser. Oh, whoops, wrong. I had a tool tip, not a tool strip. Uh, 
can say whenever you have your um tool strip up add four buttons text box and another button um your images wherever you have your images at So you just do that to all of your things and um, add the sync, double click those buttons and add the same code and you can have pictures for your buttons instead of just a plain button. It's actually very easy. This is just as easy as Visual Basic. Yeah. Like I said, one letter more. gonna take the tool strip off all my buttons so I don't have to retype the code. Okay, then this should work. Well, I do not know why that is saying that it does not exist, but, um, but yeah, that's, you know, use the same code and, um, you have a more advanced, and you don't have to have the regular buttons. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, please stay tuned, and I'm going to make a more advanced web browser in um, C Sharp and C um, or Visual Basic. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions at all, just um, leave a message um, as a comment or send me a message, and as soon as I see the notification, I will get back to you. Thank you.